couple of dragons. Come on, baby. Keep smoking. Oh, yeah, I got a number over here. Look at that. The last week, sitting in the car. I'm gonna pull this out of the way. Show you the back. I've got my tent tarp set up over there. And that's where I'm going to spend the night. Of course, I'm going to wake up at 11, 12 o'clock tonight. Because that's the time I normally go to work. But, eh, it is what it is. I'm cooking right now. I've got my phone, solar panel, battery pack sitting over on the other side of the tracks. Charging my phone, charging the battery pack without discharging the battery pack. Hopefully, testing out my new solar panel. Here, let's go check it out. Ugh. Gotta let that water cook anyway. Ugh. I've got my new solar panel. Got my new solar panel. And I've got it plugged into the battery pack there. And then the battery pack is plugged into my phone. The battery pack was blinking on four. It says it's fully charged now. My phone was at 45, now it's at 54. So, yeah, the solar panel is charging the battery pack faster than the battery pack is charging my phone. Well, let's try just going direct. Unplug the battery pack and plug in the phone. We'll see if that works. Because my other solar panel wouldn't charge my other phone beyond 50%. It says it's charging. Set it up there out of the sun. 54%. And we'll check back on it in a minute. See what it does. Well, my dinner's heating up. I've got my uh, Trangy in there. Got some rocks piled around it. I only need six ounces for this meal. I have some lasagna. It's plenty. For me before bed. So as soon as that water gets hot, I'm gonna pour it in, stir it up, and go check on my phone on the solar panel. That water's almost boiling. Uh, let's see if I can zoom you in a little bit. Almost boiling. As soon as that water boils, yeah, I'm gonna make up my dinner and and sleep for a little while. And then I'm gonna get up and it's gonna be dark. Funny bird. I think that's a close enough of a boil for me for a mountain house with clean water. Stir it up. Okay. 
get down in the corners. That's good. Is that cool. Get these rocks out of the way so I can put that stove out. And wait for our dinner to get done. Oh, the solar panel isn't even in really direct sunlight. Got my phone hidden up here. I don't know if I can zoom in before it kicks out. Do it again. Was it 54%? Now it's at 50, 58. Eight percent. So this solar panel is already doing better than my other one. My other solar panel, well, I don't know, with, with this phone, with my other phone, my other solar panel would charge a battery to 100%, but it would not charge my other phone more than 50%. So I don't know if that is the same with this phone but either way it's not in super direct sunlight and it's still charging my phone plus I have all my batteries fully charged so I'm good I don't have to worry about a phone I can watch all the YouTube I want good thing I'm hidden I was going back out to get the last of my stuff Less than, less than two, three minutes ago. I was getting ready to go to bed. Got a, still got a bag down here. Fortunately hidden. I heard the train coming. I started to come back out to get this bag and I was like, oh, it's a train. Yeah, it was a train. He's going down there. <laughs> All right, we're going to bed. It is bedtime. Bedtime for me. The birds are still chirping. The sun's still shining. But it is bedtime for me. Ugh. We'll get up when the sun goes down. I'm glad I got to see a train go by. Finally. I've been waiting for hours. <laughs> All right, I'm looking to bury the bucket. I've already started digging a hole. I started digging a hole a different spot this morning, but it was all clay, and you just couldn't dig. So I'm going to continue digging here. I've probably got, yeah, not quite half done, a third done. So I'm going to keep digging, and we'll keep you informed. All right, I finally got this bucket dug deep enough that I can bury it. And some items I purposely brought just to put in the bucket. This pad, who I got from a friend, I didn't originally intend to put in the bucket. But ever after using it last night and the condensation that it made in my hammock, I mean, my sleeping bag was soaking wet this morning. I'd rather use my thermal rest, so this is going to go in the bucket in case of a shit hit the fan scenario. Um, 
toilet paper I brought obviously for my camping trip but it's going in the bucket I have a mountain house a couple packs packs of spam ramen noodle a couple things of cordage also going in the bucket another thing that I purposely pr brought to put in the bucket are some shotgun shells which kind of strange to me I just bought these like a week ago and that one's already rusted but you know SHTF scenario you never know they could come in handy to build just something to alert you that somebody's coming so I'm gonna put these in this bag that I got hiking here I'm also going to put in some a lighter, some drink mixes, something to make water taste a little better, some survival seeds. I think I brought 12 shotgun shells with me. I'm going to throw some cordage in there. And I'll dig this bucket up. I'll add more things. I'll take things out. It's not going to be very too deep, as you can tell. I just want to get just below the surface of the earth. The bucket is waterproof. And, yeah, I'm going to pack it up. I even decided to pack in one of the two hoodie sweatshirts that I brought with me. I don't really need it. And if I can have it out here in case I do need it I'd rather be in that bucket than sitting at home on the bed I also added this pouch which has the uh, bottles of coffee and salt and matches I don't need it I'd rather it be out here in the woods in case I do need it Less that I got to carry home. I carried a, a whole lot of weight out here just for the purpose of burying this bucket. And I'm going to put in everything that I can put in and know that it's safe out here in case I need it. If I never need it, oh well, it rots in the ground. But if I do need it, it could save my life and save other people's lives. I've got to get this bucket buried, there's rain coming, and I've got <laughs> probably a three or four mile hike home, so let me get this bucket buried and I'm going to get on my way. There's my bucket. It's hidden. It was buried just in time. No way he saw me. He's moving. Just in time. I just finished burying the bucket. And I heard whistles. 
They don't come down these tracks very often, but when they do, they're flying. All right, I'm back home, and none too soon, the dark clouds are coming. There's rain coming this way. I was checking the radar. I was worried about making it home on time. My neighbors got their window down. I just knocked and let them know, hey, there's rain coming. And she's like, oh, it's okay. We're just getting ready to leave anyway. So, yeah, just wanted to let them know. There is rain coming, and I am not home any too soon. I beat the rain. Thank the Lord. <laughs>